So that's the Aquasaban River in Terrace Bay. Well, it's a nice day at the beach. Hey, there we see Slate Island. Well, you guys ready? Okay. Let's do it. Welcome to Scriber Beach. It's beautiful. It's windy. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> yeah. Folks, danger. There's a dam ahead. Keep out. Yeah, so here's the dam, and there is the generating station. This is Pine Portage, Pine Portage. Well, hello, my friends. Today we are going on a berry picking adventure. We are looking for blueberries. We've got our Nipping and Red Rock Gazette, August 9th, 2022 edition. And we are just going to, we're gonna go here. That's our chosen spot. Well, my lady, wanna go pick blueberries? Hey, should we go pick blueberries? Oh, yes. Beautiful raspberries. <laughs> Is that a bunch berry score or what? <laughs> How's that? Hey, look at all those blueberries. Oh my goodness. It's a cornucopia of fruits. Well, here we are downtown Nibigan, and we are heading to see the blueberry blast. Yes, siree, the annual blueberry blast. Oh, yeah, look at this. We got music, we got vendors. Check this out. Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to another adventure. 
Ernie and I are out on the ATV and uh, we're just out exploring the abandoned CN rail line. So we're up here on the Nipigon River above Paramachine at the abandoned railway trestle. Here, check it out. Oh, there's someone in a boat. Nice. That's the Indian head. Well, that could topple any time, eh? But it hasn't. But it hasn't, yeah. <laughs> it's been there for 70 years or more. Today is October the 28th, and we're out for a drive. Yep, a little driving adventure. We decided to stop here for a cup of tea and some cheese and crackers, and we are at uh, the Black Sturgeon River. Well, here we are, driving on Church Street. That's Fraser Lake, and that is what we're up against. So, quick consensus of opinion. Turn around. Turn around. <clears throat> oh, too bad. All right, there it is, folks. The view of a century. Why we drove all the way out here. <laughs> well, I, I kind of think this is the end of the line for us. Kind of don't want to get stuck back here. We're at kilometer 75 of the Black Sturgeon River Road. Well, here we are at kilometer 72 of the Black Sturgeon Road. Oh, it's been an eventful trip so far. We've seen a lot of wildlife. Out of water. Need more water? Yep. <laughs> it's a nice bouquet you got there. Yeah. And it smells good too. Well, the road really isn't the best up here. But it is possible. Well, there's a vintage sign. Lakehead University, Black Sturgeon Research Station. Lots of logging activity up here. Oh, here's another uh, another pile of logs. Here, Sue. Well, this sucks. <laughs> We're gonna have to put a uh, the spare on. Oh, what do you think of that? I got the jack on her, ready to jack her up, ready to replace that tire. Sue's winding up the uh, spare tire cable. Looks like it's coming along quite nicely. That's oh. good. Keep her going. I can't. <laughs> and there's oh. our spare tire. Oh, wow. Yay. Well, the best time to change a tire is in the rain. <laughs> 
actually we managed to get it all done just before the rain came so there she is our beautiful spare wish us luck <laughs> broken down on the black sturgeon We're here at the Bald Spot Trail with Mr. Nibigan himself, Jim McCullough. And we're going to go up the armpit trail. Yeah? Well, we're going to shortcut up. Nice. Not the short shortcut, but the shortcut. Well, you lead on, McDuff. Yeah, now this is a cool spot. Yeah, you bet. Well, it's windy as heck up here, but here is a panorama of the beautiful town of Nipigon. And there, my friends, is the Sleeping Dog yeah, Mountain. And right at his nose, there's a jackpine lookout, the little bluff on the horizon, the sweet bump, bump like that's yeah. jackpine lookout. Nice. And a tremendous place. This is the shot of shots, Jimmy. This is the best shot I've seen of Doghead Mountain yet. Oh, it comes up, it's a magnificent chunk of rock. Eh? Oh my goodness, yeah. You're down the water, but it's small. Oh, it's a beauty. Really Look cold and that. damp on the dog's nose, too. Cold and damp in the dog's nose. Yeah, it, always <laughs> it always is, if he's healthy. 